And again, we'll get leg passes from all over the place. All right, it's gonna be kind of like our high crotch, where I'm gonna take a little side step, and I'm gonna swing my heels away. But I'm gonna fall to my outside hip, outside shoulder, just like we've been doing. But it's a little bit higher up off the mat, so it's a little bit scary. Don't do this to get to your leg pass. Because you're going to get taken down. And you're going to send me to hate mail again. And it's a wrap. Alright? I'm going to cry. I'm very sensitive. So, I'm going to take a little side step. And I'm swinging. Also, when I swing and pull, stretches his arms away from his body. And what does it make his head do? What does it make his drive leg do? Watch this. Ooh, his knees are down and his head's yeah, up. Down. Down. Is his driving leg knee up off the mat or on the mat? Down. What have we been doing this whole camp? Trying to beat this and the drive leg. So with one big motion, right? Again, we're going back to some fundamentals of baseline defense. If he just shoots his elbow leg, right? Just stuff his head strong. Kind of ended up in the same position. Now I'm in the leg pass and I'm on my hip. I'd much rather be here. But if he blows me away with a double leg and I can't sprawl, right? And I just flip the switch to scramble. All right? So we have options. Some guys have all they want to do is scramble. That's a problem. All right? We've got to understand both sides. Of it. So I want you to think about stepping and swinging and pulling as much as you can. You can't swing and pull too much right now. So it's almost like a break dance move. Outside hip, outside shoulder, outside arm threads under. Side step, swing. See, I'm on my left hip and my left shoulder. Armpit hand comes to the sole, straight into my leg pass. Working above the knee, back to this position. Okay? And I just finish however I can finish there. And again, you get reps, get your timing down, and when that guy actually shoots a dog,